Hi there, this is Melanie B from Beat and Bones. I wanted to share with you today one of my favorite tricks. It is how to remove copper flashing from brass pieces. You might not even know what that is. So let me first start with, when you work on a brass piece and you flame it with your torch, you might notice it starts to take on a bit of a copper color. And then you put it in your pickle and it gets even worse. And you pull it out and the whole thing is copper, copper and you have no idea how you're gonna fix it. Well, I, I wanna tell you first how it happens and then what you can do about it. The reason why your pieces begin to turn copper is because there is a small amount of copper in brass. When you expose it to heat, you're actually causing that small bit of copper to leach to the surface of the brass. And the more heat you apply, the more copper is going to leach to the surface. So what you have to do is actually remove just the copper and leave the rest of it behind. Now, you may have heard some tips about super pickle, and that's kind of what we're gonna do today. However, I will warn you that when I've read about super pickle, everyone has instructed me to put the hydrogen peroxide directly in my pickle pot and then put my pieces in. And that works for a short period of time, about 10 minutes, because you're lowering the temperature of your pickle pot with the hydrogen peroxide. But the minute that it starts to get hot again, you're going to start seeing that horrible copper color coming right back to the surface. So the trick to it is not to expose it to more heat. And I'm gonna show you how we do that today. To get started, you're going to want to do this in glass dishes. I prefer to do them in Pyrex, but you can use anything like a mason jar, whatever you have on hand. Just remember that when you use it for chemicals, you're not going to want to use it for food any longer. You're going to want to prepare your neutralizer, and what this is, is distilled water and baking soda, the same solution that you would use to neutralize your pickle bath. In this other container over here, I've already gone ahead and placed a little bit of my Rio pickle. This is the same pickle you pick up from Rio Grande. And I've only put like maybe about a tablespoon and a half in there because I've got a smaller batch that we're going to work on. Your pieces are going to be ready to do this with when they are no longer covered in any fire scale or fire stain and they're just copper colored. You're just going to use regular old hydrogen peroxide, the kind that you would pick up at the drugstore. I buy mine in bulk on Amazon by the box rather than by the bottle because I go through it quite quickly for about $15. I just poured enough in there to cover my pieces. I'm going to mix up my solution really good. Be sure and mix it well so that you don't see any of the pickle crystals in there anymore. Uh, if you leave the crystals in there, they will cause little black marks. They're removable, but you don't want to make yourself have to do more work, so. Now that that's ready, all I do is throw these little guys in. And you're going to start seeing a couple things happen. So first, make sure that they've got good coverage. And what you're gonna notice is they're going to start bubbling and you can already see a little bit of the bubbling action happening. And what that is is the hydrogen peroxide performing its job and lifting the copper off the surface of your brass. You might be able to hear it, but I have a fan running in the background and I wanna to talk to you just a little bit about the vapor that's coming off of these. That's not something that you wanna breathe, so I suggest using either your respirator, doing this in a large open room have a fan of some sort. I have a fume extractor going in the background, so that's a great idea. Or if all else fails, you can always take it outside to do this. As the hydrogen peroxide does its job, you're going to notice bubbles and that your solution is going to slowly start to turn blue. The blue is actually the copper molecule falling to the bottom of your bath. So that's exactly what you want to see. We're going to leave them in there for about 15 to 20 minutes and we'll check back in with you then. Okay, as you can see, the solution is a very light shade of Windex blue. And if you take a look at one of these pieces, I just reached in with my copper tongs, you can do the same. You look at the pieces, there is no copper left on the inside, on the details, anywhere. 
So we just put them over in our solution, our neutralizing solution. You can see that they fizz and they're neutralized. Okay, and when we pull them out, I'm gonna show you. Um, any areas where I've used color matching solder, so I've used brass solder on all of these, uh, the solution has pulled out uh, the little bit of copper content that makes that a color match. And so it leaves them with the silver solder. And to correct this, all you have to do is either uh, sand it just a little bit with a fine grit sandpaper, or I like to go in with my stainless steel radial on my Dremel and I just hit them real quick. It takes like five minutes to do a whole bunch of them and then they're back to being completely brass and they are 100% ready for you to throw in your tumbler at that point. Your solution is only good for a few uses. It will stop being effective when it stops bubbling or when it turns a really, really dark blue color. And then you'll want to neutralize it simply by pouring one into the other, slowly.